Well, hello, good morning, and welcome in, everyone. Assuming it's morning when you watch this, because that's when I'm recording it, but good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Doesn't matter when you're picking up this video. This is week seven in the eight-part series used to kick off 2021, building business through increasing sales behind your haircutting chair. So very happy that you've joined me in here for this video and want to welcome in. We've got a couple of new members in the tribe on Patreon. And of course, you must be a tribe member on Patreon in order to have access to this exclusive playlist. So if you can see this video, if you can hear my voice, if you can watch this and the other videos in the collection, thank you so much for being a member of the tribe. Please, I've got a refer a friend promotion running right now. If you're a tribe member and you refer a tribe member, you both get a bonus. Each of you get the choice. Absolutely free. Any book in the Ivan Zoot book library or one free 30 minute one on one phone coaching call. You get your pick. So find and recruit a member of the tribe, and you and your new friend or your old friend, new tribe member friend, both get that recruiting bonus. So that's what we're running right now. We'd love to have you refer a friend to the tribe. Before we get into the program, of course, we go here. We go to $100,000 Haircutter. It is February 15th. It is the day after Valentine's Day. I hope you've had your fill of chocolate. It's day 46 of the year with 319 days remaining in the year. This one, February 15th, is a very special entry in the $100,000 Haircutter book for me. Run a baseball spring training promotion. March comes in like a lion and goes out like a major leaguer. I love that line. March 1 is the beginning of baseball spring training and everyone believes this can be their year. We are two weeks away from March 1st. You've got plans, time for a little bit of planning, but then April 1 begins the baseball season. So now is a great time to take a look at this opportunity. There's all kinds of ways to run contests, promotions, cashing in on spring training doesn't mean you've got to have a business in Scottsdale, Arizona or Sarasota, Florida. It just means you have to recognize that baseball is America and is an opportunity around which we all can rally. It was also the subject of what we talked about last week when we talked about the working the weeks up to and through the planning of a calendar-based promotion. Go back and watch that video if you missed it. There's a lot of gold in there. There's a lot of gold in here. Refer a friend. You can both have a copy for free if you don't already have a copy of the book. And speaking of books, I just wanted to mention the new book, the Professional Haircutters Pricing Playbook, uh, in stock shipping immediately. We've had some challenges with um, maintaining uh, inventory to maintain order filling. Um, the printers are challenged with scheduling and personnel primarily due to COVID and the post office is just really slow right now. Uh, but I have copies in stock. I, all my back orders have been fulfilled. If you've already ordered the book, it is already on the way to you. If you haven't ordered the book yet, jump on it. We're shipping out immediately. So this is your haircut pricing playbook. Every single answer to every single question you'll ever have about haircut pricing in the beauty and barber business. The new book, people ask for it, we got it to you. Let's talk about week seven of eight, building haircut business behind your chair through increasing sales. This week we're talking about annuity selling. And it's an interesting topic for hair cutters because we cut hair, we serve one client at one time in one chair with two hands, and then we serve another one. And we scratch our head and we go, you know, we're working hard, we're making money, we're doing good, and we love our work. But, man, I'd love to work smarter, not harder. Are there ways we can do that? And I call this annuity selling. Annuity selling is the idea. And think about your car insurance. Or think about an annuity if you've ever purchased one. You sell it once. And you collect on it over and over and over again. You got in touch with an insurance agent or an insurance company. You purchased automobile insurance. And unless you've had an accident, let's all drive safe out there. Unless you've had an accident, you have paid the insurance bill when it comes every month or every quarter or once a year, however you pay it. And you've paid it over and over again. And in some cases, you may have never spoken to the agent or the company ever, ever again. They did their job. 
they sold the policy, you bought the policy, and you just keep writing the checks. You just keep paying the bill. They keep providing the insurance. You are insured when you need them. They'll be there for you, but they're not there for you along the way. There is no need to be. It's an annuity. It pays for itself over and over again. Words like resupply, words like auto ship are some of the keys behind this kind of concept. You don't have to look too far back to recognize in our recent marketing history where some people have found some gold and made some money with this kind of annuity selling concept. What about, for instance, you guys heard of Dollar Shave Club? Guys buy razor blades, ladies buy razor blades all the time. You buy them, you use them, you chuck them. And you know what? You got to add them to the list. You got to remember to buy them. When you need a fresh blade and you're out, you're bummed. You got to use that bad blade one more day. They found a problem and they solved the problem. Automatic shipment of razor blades. Pick your blade, different qualities, different features. Sign up, mail them to your house and they automatically mail them out every month or every two or every three. And they offer features like suspending. Hey, I'm backing up on blades. I'm doing good. Don't send me any right now. Temporarily holding back on shipping so you don't get buried in them. Automatically shipping them out again. And every month, and I've tried Dollar Shave. I've been a member every month. Before they hit your credit card, they shoot you an email. Hey, your blades are shipping next week. Cancel if you don't need them. Talk about convenient. Talk about easy. Talk about selling me once. And autumn and I want the blades. I'm happy to have the blades. It's a good blade at a good price. No argument there. Boom, boom, boom. Auto ship. You heard about the tide button? This blew me away when I heard about it. It's a little button that you stick with sticky tape to your washing machine. It's got the tide logo on it. And it's either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or I don't know, web enabled. I'm not sure how it works. I don't need to know how it works. I just know it works. It's on the top of your washer. And when you reach down and you notice, oh, I don't have any more Tide Pods. I only have three Tide Pods left. All you do is on the washer. You don't go to your phone. You don't go to your laptop. You just press the button. The button talks to your computer. Your computer talks to Amazon. Amazon sends you Tide the Tide button. If you have a Tide button on your washer, what are the chances you're going to go to the grocery store and buy a box of cheer or bottle of gain or any other detergent? Talk about a win for everybody. You get convenience, you get a good price, and they lock in the business with you as a customer. How's the other guy got a chance? I like this stuff. So let's talk about it. What can we do behind the chair to use these concepts? We've got memberships, haircut memberships. Sign up for a period of time, a year, six months. I don't recommend shorter than six months. Paying a monthly fee for haircut services or a one-time fee for services over a period of time. You know, there's, I'm going to put a link in, my, in the uh, video here for an article I wrote on memberships. Haircut memberships are powerful tools. The article talks about, was featured on Modern Salon, talks about what is and what isn't a membership. Makes it really, really easy to understand how to structure a haircut membership program. What about auto refill on product? You like that gel? You buy that gel? You use that Clipper Guy gel? How about we send you one every month? We'll hook you up. Are you aware that PayPal, everybody knows PayPal, everybody loves, everybody trusts PayPal. PayPal has a recurring payment feature where you simply set up a customer, either with their PayPal or with their credit card, and they're automatically billed at the interval that you program. Once a month, every two, every third, whatever. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything other than the normal PayPal charges. And we know it works, and we know it's good, and we know it's safe, and we know people trust it. You can use PayPal's recurring payment feature for product auto ship, uh, shampoo, conditioner, styling products, things like, uh, I don't have one here on my counter, but uh, the hair vitamins, the hair, nail, and skin uh, vitamins supplements. 
that I offer on my website that have been a great product. I've got people on auto ship for those. Uh, recurring payment is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I'm going to include a link to that article. Um, you know how to find PayPal. Uh, haircut memberships. Look at, look at that article to learn a little bit about how those can work. And think about what you offer that can be auto-shipped or auto-filled so that you can sell it once and continue to generate revenue monthly on a recurring basis. We'll wrap up the episode this week with Technique of the Week. We always throw in Technique of the Week for the use, recommendation, suggestion, and sale of professional take-home hair care product. This week, the Technique of the Week is called frozen pizza. And frozen pizza is the name of the technique and it gets its name from the way we shop for frozen pizza. Have you ever bought a frozen pizza? I buy frozen pizza. I got a couple of brands I like. When you're in the grocery store, when you open the door of the freezer case, when you reach in to grab a pizza, which pizza do you buy? You buy the third one, don't you? You go past the first one, past the second one, and you grab the third pizza and you put that in your cart. I do that. You do that. Why do we do that? The frozen pizza. I want the good one. I want the frozen one. I want the cold one. I don't want the front one that somebody touched. I don't want the front one that the box boy found in the paper towel aisle and returned to the freezer an hour later after it had partially thawed. I want the good one. When you have a client with you up front at the cash register at the retail display and you're talking about a product and you reach in to grab a product for the customer, don't take the front product off the shelf. Reach over the top or around the back and hand them the third one. Make it a little showy. This is selling with a physical gesture. Make sure they see what you're doing. Make sure they recognize what you're doing. You're pulling the third product off the shelf. Let them call you on it. If they say nothing, say nothing. Because they're thinking even if they're not saying. But if they say something, hey, why did you give me the third one? Hey, why did you give me the front one? Smile. You got caught. It's okay. This is a good thing. Smile. You don't want the first one. You want the good one in the back. Nobody touched it. Nobody had their hands on it. That one's the one you want, right? Well, yeah, how'd you know? Because I want that one too. Second bonus. When you reach back and grab the third and you don't take the front one off the shelf, you don't create an empty space on the shelf. The empty space is back and behind. You're psychologically creating a situation in which there is no place for the customer to put the product back. They can hand it back to you. They can reach back and put it in the third spot, but they're likely not going to do that. Likely they're going to make the purchase. Psychologically, it's theirs and there is nowhere to decline the purchase. That's a technique called frozen pizza. It's a physical technique on the floor, in the shop, at the product display to help you use, suggest, recommend, and retail more professional take-home hair care product. I'm Ivan Zoot. This has been another video in the exclusive playlist online for the Patreon community. Like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and invite a friend to join us on Patreon so they too can have access to all the videos in this exclusive playlist. It's not searchable online. You can't find it if you're not a member. I have plenty of general videos online for everybody else. These are for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the monthly meetings. We'll see you online. Use the text chat to communicate and let me help you build and grow your business because that's what we do. Have a great day.